What's all the huff about firefighting TV shows? This is Billy Goldfeder answering some questions from you as part of our What's Your Problem series hosted by FireRescue1.com and Lexapol. And here's today's question. I recently saw that someone at Cal Fire disavowed the new show Fire Country saying it's unrealistic. Aren't all these shows unrealistic? There's obviously a level of suspension of disbelief here. But at what point do they cross the line showing our profession in such a skewed light that our reputation is compromised or people come to hold inaccurate ideas of what we do? I love this question. I don't like that show. But it's a show. And, and that's what we need to understand. They, they, there's SVU, there's Chicago PD, there's Chicago Fire. As a matter of fact, we'll cover Chicago Fire for a minute. The executive producer for that show is a dear longtime friend of mine, Steve Chikorotis. Steve retired out of the Chicago Fire Department, the deputy chief rank, and he is the technical advisor for that show. And he's kind of the godfather on that set. But as Chick will tell you, it's still a show. They may or may not do what he, what he uh, tells them to do because it's Hollywood trying to share something entertaining. So when those sh shows make you cringe, understand that, now I, again, I don't know anybody involved in Fire Country. I have seen it, not a big fan, very disappointing. Surprised that Cal Fire was able to put Cal Fire or that someone approved that, but that's neither here nor there. I have no control on that. But understand it's entertaining. Just like a movie, just like a TV show, keep that in mind when you look at it. Now, if we're worried about our reputation being compromised, let's worry about how we conduct ourselves first, and then we'll get to Hollywood later, okay? There's no shortage of every day uh, something in the media about how we conduct ourselves. So let's focus on that, and then we'll worry about Hollywood some other time. I think if we work on our reputation being solid, the public will understand that's not how we are. But uh, like when they see FDNY coming down the side of a building, that's the reality of it, okay? When they see firefighters in California rescuing people out of a wildland fire, that's reality, okay? So the media does deliver that. However, uh, if we are concerned about our reputation, our profession, as I said, focus on that within our own organizations. However, uh, there is some aspect of them showing some insane stuff going on on some of these TV shows that we just have to bite the bullet with and work on our own locally and nationally to make sure people see the proper impression of what we do and the proper roles that we, uh, that we perform on a daily basis. I think that's really the answer is how we conduct ourselves as a whole North American fire service. And then people will, I mean, will look at it and say, oh, that, that, that's Hollywood, that kind of thing. I really don't think it's a huge problem. I think our bigger problem is making sure that our organizations, from me to you and everybody else in between, conduct ourselves in a professional manner and do our best to do so. And that, I think, will do the best thing we can to manage the public's understanding of who we are and what we do. Thanks so much for your question. Email me at FireRescue1 with any questions you have. I promise you I'll do my best to give you, uh, well, you'll always get my opinion, but I'll also try and get you some facts in there as well. Thanks so much and take care.